So I, I have sort of an old time classic that every once in a while I just I want to pick again just because it's so awesome. And that's BB Edit by Bare Bones oh, Software, Rich yes, Siegel. Yes, yes. It just got updated again. Um, it I, we had the great pleasure of talking to him on Debug a few weeks ago, and he took us through basically every stage of the Mac and how he was there with BB Edit to do things like Carbon and 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 Mac App Store and all these different oh, things. Yeah. Uh, and it is just I still write in BB Edit every day. I have all these fancy tools and he's added the one I, I had recently started writing in notes instead just because notes uh, synced everywhere all the time immediately it was like a giant clipboard and now rich has added or oh, sorry i should say bare bones uh, although he seems like a one-man army he has added uh, icloud drive support now so you can still store things in icloud drive or dropbox like you always couldn't have them available everywhere and i i am someone who uses maybe 0.5 percent of the features in bb edit because there's everything there from grep to also, I just I used it again today just to convert something to Markdown because it was faster for me to do it in BB Edit because I knew how to do it. Then go to some web form and do it. Uh, it. It is just a powerhouse. If you have a if you have a Mac and you do any sort of professional writing, uh, from development to you know just writing articles, the tools there are unparalleled. So sometimes we talk about the new stuff and forget about the classics and. BB Edit is just absolutely one of the classics. You know, it's funny because when I set up that Minecraft server, I, I realized, oh, I need a nice GUI editor. I'm using it on a Mac. Why should I use, you know, Emacs? Uh, and I didn't, I have, I own BB Edit. I love it. But I thought, you know, I haven't tried Text Wrangler. I think it's going to be all I needed. You can, you know, you do it on the command line. You say edit, mm -hmm. file. It's awesome. It it's, is. It's <laughs> so great. And that's free. That's free. Yeah. It's senselessly free. I mean, it is so great. Yeah. So yeah. I like having BB Edit. There are things, for instance, that BB Edit does. Like I love, and we never talk about this, but I love that you can create a, a system sheet that will let you do oh you the shell bash the shell worksheet shell yeah. worksheet does bash commit so it becomes your terminal but it's a but a terminal with memory and cut and paste and all the nice edit yeah, features. It's, it's the terminal inside a text editor. It's, it's fantastic. And it reminds me of the MPW, the Mac Programmers Workshop. I did the same thing oh. in that, and I loved that. And I'm sure that's how Rich, what, what was the inspiration for Rich putting it. In yeah, I'm but sure. that by itself, and I'm sure, I know that's not in text. Well, maybe it is. I should check. I bet it's not in text wrangling. That would be worth buying BB Edit for. I just want to give money. I, I I could easily get away with using text wrangling, but I just want to give Rich money so he keeps making. I it. agree. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. nice of him to do text wrangling. Yeah. Yeah, there, there, there are a couple. There are a couple of people at Bare Bones, and also he has a lot of developers who work on certain uh, elements of it. Uh, like, for instance, someone someone who is just a, a god with JavaScript uh, does like all the JavaScript highlighting code and that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's like I love these apps where you have this on your drive, and at some point in the week you will find a need yes. for it. Uh, it's like I, I've uh, I, I used to write every single column in it. I still write several columns in it, I, only because I, I like Scrivener a lot. But even so, when it's when I'm doing a phone briefing or a meeting, that's the only thing I will ever take my notes on because it's fast, it's reliable. You can customize it however you want. It has all kinds of tools and tricks on it, and it will not get in your way in any way, shape, or form. And like Renee says, I mean, sometimes you just want to put money in a box and send it to somebody because yes. uh, of how, not only not only how good the thing is, but how good and consistent it's been. I mean, this is I, I was I was I'm trying to remember if BB Edit actually predates like the color apple logo in the up in the in the, uh, in the apple menu uh I, I think i think it came out after uh, system six so i don't th i don't but think it goes back color, to but like those days like system seven absolutely. days wow yep. it's 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 so old that the first version that i bought came in a box with a printed spiral bound manual and a t-shirt <laughs> and i still those have the t-shirt because it's, a, it's an expensive t-shirt with and, the, and it's not stretched out at all that's you just got to yeah. it's it's like it's uh, I can't say enough about it. Uh, Rich Siegel is a, is a really good uh, personal friend of mine. As a matter of fact, uh, 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 but uh, that doesn't mean that. I actually actually became friends with him because here's, of here's something about how yeah. here, here's something about how, how good he is. We became friends because uh, Bare Bones had a tool, had a mail client uh, called uh, Mailsmith that I uh -huh. was testing and did and didn't like. I, I thought a lot of stuff like didn't work properly and i wrote like some bugs and so here's this work this way and so rather than saying okay this person's an idiot and he's just a crank he's he's a mr hater person he would ask questions and so what if it worked this way and what if it did that way uh and that's like i'm not saying that you will have a 20-year friendship with somebody based on saying mean things about their product uh but it says something about how seriously uh, everyone at bare bones takes those products that they will listen and they will they, if they if they won't if they won't 
do what you ask them to do. They will leave you deeply convinced that the reason why it doesn't do what you want it to do, there's a really good reason for that. Anyway, I, I kind of wish they kept it. developing um, Mail Smith. It, it, it grows on you. It had a really interesting methodology uh, that might have thrown some early people because it really was like the whole premise was that you get too much email and your email client should handle most of it for you. Uh, and so there were th if you try to think of it as having filters, you wouldn't it would seem uh, it would seem complicated, uh, whereas it's it's definitely a uh, mail client written by people who have to deal with a lot of customer service mail uh, and who are experts at writing text editors and, and doing things with text. And so that's why a lot of people still miss it. Yeah. Well, I've used it for 20 years, so I'll just say seconded and thirded everything that Renee and Andy said. It's yeah. uh, I've written more words in BB Edit than I've probably written in any other piece you, of software you, combined. You, so you used to write in it. Wow. Yeah, I still write in it to this to this day. I, really? I, I, um, wow. Most of my posts that I write are in BB Edit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 pretty impressive. I know a lot of websites were designed in uh, mm -hmm. BB Edit. The other feature they added uh, a few years ago was the Text Factory because I always use BB Edit for grep, like a, yeah. like really Great. powerful search Great replace. Grep. It has a full uh, uh, regular expression parser built into it, like Perl quality. Mm -hmm. or, it is know. the Perl syntax and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when I need when I have to mat, you know take like log files and parse them. I'll use BB Edit to do that. And then they added this text factory, which is great. So you can kind of create a like a little thing that yeah. will process. It's like a super easy script right. that is just Multiple the steps files of, of yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think this is, let me see if I did this right. Is this the, uh, what is it, shift uh, shift return, I think? Uh, I, I didn't I open the right worksheet. I was going to open a, uh, a bash shell worksheet. Anyway, you know what? We'll leave that as a... Uh, <laughs> No, just it is a shell money. worksheet. Give bare bones money. That's just the, give bare money. bones money. Yeah. Where am I? PW. You're not sure? Try Text Wrangler. Once you're sure, give bare bones money by yeah. BB Edit. Also, BB Edit has a 30 day unlimited. Uh, I think it's 30 days. A good trial. Yeah. trial. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and even and even when your trial is up, it's not okay, Jack. Pay up. It's like, hi. We're so glad you enjoyed it. We're, yeah. Here's how easy we're going to make it for you to to <laughs> register for BB Edit now. Awesome stuff.